Okay, hello everybody. Today is a special episode where it's our most frequently asked question. So what is the most frequently asked question is actually how to potty train your puppy. So today we'll go through this. Uh, today's episode is very special. We have 10 silver collider to be given out. So this 10 silver collider will worth $300. So what happens is you just need to like, share, comment, share to your groups, uh, effort do count. Uh, you can share our old videos also, our other videos. And then uh, we will give out this 10 silver collider. So hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so we have three different kinds of potty training. One is actually the pee pack and pee tray training. Number two is to bring bring your puppy out to outdoors to pee and poo. And the last one is toilet training, which is to bring your puppy to the toilet to, to pee and poo. Okay, so when it comes to training, potty training, or any sort of training, right? Firstly, you have to know how to identify the behavior of the dog. Whether is he comfortable, whether is he too much stress, or whether is he scared. Uh, all these things also are very important. So usually for small breeds and large breeds, our recommendation is small breeds you can consider pee pad and pee tray training. For medium breed and large breed, we will actually highly recommend the outdoor training. So the reason why we recommend the outdoor training is that outdoor training you can bring the dog every day, about twice a day. Uh, to bring your dog out to pee and poo while they can exercise the same we also can exercise as owners we also can go and have a walk together with them it can be a 5 to 10 minutes walk just to pee and poo or it can be if you are more free it can be a half an hour to one hour walk it's even better okay so this is pumpkin here we will bring him out to pee and then uh, okay so look at this collar I will show you how we, we wear the collar uh, what happens is you just need to wear uh, over their neck and then make sure, okay, so it will look tight because uh, shibas are very fluffy. So one common mistake is that uh, we always think that it's too tight, so we loosen it up. But as long as the, the, the leash can't come out from the top, you see? Even looking so tight, it will come out from the top. So actually, you need to be a little bit tighter. Then roughly, when you, when you go over the neck, okay, about two to three fingers, you can put in about two to three fingers into the collar comfortably. And then you can try that it can't come out, then it's okay. Okay, so today we have chosen this Shiba collar and leash. This are one of our favorite collar and leash because it's actually anti-abrasive. Uh, so it's actually very soft and it's well padded. So this is our favorite kind of collar because we don't like our dogs to always be, you know, having abrasion in their neck area and then they will lose a lot of fur in the neck area. So this one, and this is also fully padded. Okay, so we can get going and go out to pee and poo. Okay, so one of the most easy methods to train them to pee and poo is actually the outdoor training. So the, the way to do it is that at home, they cannot pee and poo and then they only wait for uh, you to be free twice a day to go out and pee and poo. So it's very easy because to them, it's also a game that they can play, is that they can mark territory in the neighborhood. So why they like to go out and pee and poo, they also will, will uh, hold on to their pee and poo at home uh, so that they can you know, save all the bullets to go outside in the neighborhood to pee and poo. So this is something that is naturally they would already learn uh, and naturally they will very easily adapt to this uh, training method uh, compared to of course uh, the pee pad and uh, toilet training instead. And you can also take a look that Pumpkin really enjoys his uh, pee time. He really loves to go out and have walks, uh, which that is also a bonding time you can have with your dog. So for pee tray wise, right, we usually try to start in a smaller area where the pee tray is uh, most of the area or maybe half of the area. So that, uh, or maybe, you know, 20% of the area. So the chances of them peeing there is very high. So you can give them a lot of positive training. So for the start is how you make them identify that the pee tray is the toilet. For us, it's a very simple method. When they pee on the floor, somewhere, or it's somewhere that is wrong, you will bring them and then scold them. You say, no! Then you take a tissue, take the corner of the tissue, dab a little bit of the pee and then hide it under the pee tray. So that, in that way, right, the, the dog will actually sniff the pee tray and recognize the pee tray as a toilet. So one thing that is very important is that do not let your dog sleep and lie down on the pee tray and act, means let the pee tray act like his house or his bed. Uh, that will actually make them not want to pee in the pee tray. 
home when your puppy pee on the floor that is wrong, we will scold them. And then after that, you must remember to clean the floor properly. So what we do is we go through the mop first, and then we use this Nature Miracle Spray to make sure that the pee smell and odor remover, so it will remove all the pee smell, and then so that your dog won't recognize that place as a toilet again. The first few weeks uh, of bringing home a new puppy, you let you, you usually you like to uh, find a location where you can you can put them in a smaller area with their pee tray. So the reason why is to make sure that training works. Uh, a lot of times when training fail is that we let them roam around the whole area and then they pee in different different areas, bite your things or do, do bad things. Uh, and that can happen 4 hours ago, 5 hours ago when we are not at home. Then it will be very hard to train. So usually our suggestion is to try to train them at the end of their mistake. Then it's a lot easier to get your message across. So for the first week when you bring home a new puppy, uh, don't be too aggressive on trading, don't be too fierce because you will make them uh, actually give them a lot more stress because they, to understand them, they actually change their environment and then they are still adapting to the new environment. So our suggestion is to go easy on the training first and then follow on when they start to get better, start to get more, more used to the, the new environment, then we will start to be a little bit more strict in uh, training. Okay, so to be able to train a puppy well, you have to think like a puppy and behave like a puppy. So you should do what your puppy do for a while and behave like them. And no lah, it's a joke. <laughs> okay, so based on our experience, there are only two kinds of uh, training that is a little bit more prone to failure. So number one is uh, there are some customers that we have uh, experience with is that they go home. Uh, when they scold their puppy, their puppy thinks that they are playing with them. So for example, if you are scolding them, you go, Ay, yeah, you're naughty, you're naughty, you're very naughty, oh, you're very naughty. It, it doesn't work and the puppy will be very happy and they, you will actually encourage them. Because the puppy doesn't really listen to the words you say, but the tone and the actions that you say. So uh, very importantly, on the other hand, is uh, being too fierce. So when you be too, too fierce and the puppy is very, very stressful, very, very scared, uh, they will probably pee and poo more, they will probably not listen and, and actually the, fail, uh, the training will be failing because of uh, anxiety and stress. So usually what we need to do is that we need to be able to identify the puppy whether are they too stressed or are they too, too naughty. So our training method right, is actually more, uh, we really highly encourage on a positive training where you give treats, you give toys to the puppy where they do, cor uh, do something correctly and then uh, on the other side is a very small amount of uh, dominating your puppy and scolding your puppy. So of course we don't really prefer to go into that step. Usually positive training is our main goal. But sometimes if they are too over, we will go a little bit on uh, scolding the puppy, being firm to the puppy. But don't really need to beat them or, or hit them very hard. So this is, this is our way of training. Same thing is usually when your puppy accidentally pee on the pee tray or where they stay where they stay is actually not so big area and the pee tray is actually most of the area. Then when they happen to pee on the pee tray, what we do is a lot a lot of encouragement, a lot of positive uh, uh, input. We go good boy, good boy, good boy, like that. Okay, so make it very happy and encouraging. So they will be very happy to pee on the pee tray. Okay, so thank you very much for watching to the end of the video. Uh, remember we have 10 silver collider to give out. 10 silver collider that worth $300. So remember to like and share. Uh, effort counts. Uh, so really thanks again for watching all the way to the end of the video. And we hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.